So then in this video, I'm going to show you how to schedule a Zoom meeting or schedule a meeting in advance of a Zoom call. And I'll be showing you how to do this step by step. So by the end of the video, you'll know everything so you can schedule your call with ease. Okay, so let's jump into the detail right now and show you how to schedule a Zoom meeting. Okay, so go to the Zoom website and click sign in top right and enter your email address and password before signing in. And this will take you into the meeting screen. So on the top right, you can see schedule a meeting. If you click on that, and this is a schedule a meeting screen. So if you firstly enter the topic, so we're going to put my business meeting followed by description, which is optional. So we're going to go for strategy and crucially when it is. So we're going to select the date, say the 16th of March at 2 p.m. So that's fine. Duration, if you say in our case, we're going to put 30 minutes and bear in mind that Zoom basic plan has a 40 minute time limit on meetings with three or more participants and set the time zone accordingly as well. That's really important. With regard to the meeting ID, you can choose to generate it automatically, as you can see we're doing, or you can use the personal meeting ID. You can also have a recurring meeting, so you can have a recurring daily, weekly, etc. You can repeat it every number of days, and you can even have an end date and after a number of occurrences. So that's really useful, so you don't have to keep creating meetings. Security, it automatically generates a password, so that's fine, and only users who have the invite link and passcode can join the meeting, so that's absolutely fine. Waiting room, you can choose or not to have that. So the user will only admitted if it's ticked, I normally have that, so it gives you more control. Regarding the video on, you can have it on or off for the host, so we're going to select on, and the participant, again, we're going to select it as on, but that's entirely up to you. And there's various meeting options here, as you can see there's four. The only one that I'm going to point out is that I generally mute participants upon entry because it gives me a lot more control. The other ones you can decide and save it. So once saved, it gives you an overview of the meeting details, which are really important. So it covers things like topic, description, and of course, the time of the meeting. You can even add it to, for example, your Google Calendar, if you have it, Outlook Calendar or Yahoo Calendar. So you get the meeting ID, uh, which you can see there, and you get the security. So you've got a passcode and waiting room selected. Now, crucially, the invite link, which is here, you can actually copy that and send it out on whatever method you want. So I generally, I use Hotmail quite a lot. So I send it out on my Hotmail, copy it and paste it into that. So it's as simple as that. And then it just looks as other things like what you selected for the video and other meeting options. So again, mute participants and entry, which is there as well. So you can obviously start the meeting, but if you do make a mistake, you can click edit, as you can see here. And you can go back to the previous screen where you started and you can make any changes accordingly and save it. And basically in that summary screen, that will update. If you want to see all the meetings that you scheduled, if you click on meetings on the top left of the screen and it displays them all in here. So you can look at upcoming meetings. You can look at previous meetings. You can go into personal room and even meeting templates and you can even filter by start and end time. So that's really useful. Meetings are listed below. You can actually click on the individual meetings to change it or edit it, or you can just go to start. You can edit it again that way, or you can delete it. And one really useful tool is that if you've recently deleted something by mistake, you can recover it for up to a week after it was deleted. So that's really useful. I've also put together some other Zoom related videos for you. Maybe you want to know how to change your name during a Zoom meeting. You can click on the links appearing on screen now. Consider subscribing if you got value from this video today. But many thanks for watching our video today on how to schedule a Zoom meeting or schedule a meeting in advance of a Zoom call. We'll see you on the next video.